Hey fellow Fold Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today I have for you a little bit different video as this is my take on top places for your camp in each region of Fallout 76 map. So I have so I have one spot in Cranberry Bog region and we'll be starting from it, then something for swamp, something for divide, something for toxic area, something for forest, and something for ash heap. And of course, me being me, I take way more into consideration than just nice looking places. But that's my approach. If you vary and the look of the place is the most important and nothing else matter, you are absolutely right. I have a little bit different approach and I'm gonna share my top places. So first, please take a look on the map I was using to find those places. Of course, huge shout out to Heroic Llama for creating this amazing tool. If you are on PC or if you own a PC, you can download this map for free. So just look for Mapalachia. Heroic Llama is continuously working on it, then you can overlay it with whatever you want. I created this map. It's not, of course, perfect. It's just what I wanted the most. So on the left, you have all type of resource extractor places where resource extractor can be placed in your camp. The colorful ones are the ones that I consider high value. And I just decided to go with gray dot for everything else that I consider less interesting. It's still worth to mention when those are, but those are less interesting. Then I have this marker, as you can see, like this gray number two. When this type of number appears, it means that two dots are close enough that you can have two extractors in one camp spot. Of course, there's a lot of dots around workshop. You cannot have camp on the workshop area and some area are not eligible for building. So that you need to take into consideration the blue color this is actual water. So as you can see, it's not exactly aligned with water on our map that we can see in game. So this is actual water. It's worth to mention here, toxic region. All the water is a toxic water, so not citable for cooking. You should know about that. Then the red spots, as you can see, more red, the higher concentration, those are the veins that you can mine and only three of those. I choose the ones that I usually look for. So this is lead, aluminum and copper. Those three type of veins all together as a red color, more density, more of those harvestable veins is in there. I put it on the map as well because it can be helpful to have a lot of those close to your camp. Uh, did I miss anything? I hope not. So this is about the map itself and I mark with uh, this arrow and X all the places I picked for the perfect camp. And now I will show you place by place and give you some additional information why I choose it apart from what you can see here. This map I will upload as well to my Twitter and later on I will pin a comment. So if comments is not there yet, so come back and there will be a link so we can download this particular map for yourself if you want one. Now, Cranberry Bog. So first Cranberry Bog, as you can see, I'm standing in the spot where I would recommend to place the camp unit. You have two extractor spots, iron, what is steel and copper. It is nice flat area. So you can see it's located in the Cranberry Bog. It's relatively peaceful, close to the main road and tunnel underneath, if you want to wander there. On other side, you have the city of Watoga, which gives a nice view and as well some safety as robots are protecting half of this area. So it's rare that you will get attacked. Of course, the enemies can still spawn next to your camp. So that is the spot. Uh, what else is good? You can harvest some free adhesive from those cool plants that are everywhere in Cranberry Bog that you need to run quickly towards and harvest some adhesive. So two extractors, flat place. I consider it a really good spot for a camp. Now we travel to the next spot. 
now we are at our second camp spot in the mire, really close to Savage Divide. This location makes for a really nice view because from one hand side you have the mire and if you look around it's Savage Divide. So two unique perspectives. Then you have Copper Extractor that can be placed underneath. It is next to this uh, Rocky Mountain. So if you put the camp unit on top, you can build a really tall structure inside your camp. It's relatively flat on the right. If you don't want to build tall, you can choose to stretch your camp a little bit towards here and you will be really close to spawn for a bloat flies and some containers that you can use to donate or gather items with others. More about containers a little bit later when I show you a perfect container spot. So this is the place, copper extractor, really nice view and quite remote, far away from anything in the game, close to the compass on the map. I really like this one, especially due to the view. You look one side and it's a swamp. You look other side and those are mountains. So I really like this borderline camp for the mire. So this spot, very unique, very nice to build, ability to build a really tall camp. This is a typical savage divide location. I actually placed my unit in here next to this flower. And now why this location is so good. As you can see, it's close to this little lake with a little bit rocky side, which means you can put your camp unit higher, which translates into much higher build ability. There is acid extractor in the water that you can place. You can miss this spot because it's underwater, but you can place acid extractor. It already includes this boat and it's kind of a little bit of a cave that can be incorporated in your build if you want some nice lakeside build in here and just a pack of wolves spawn on me i will try to ignore them let's see if i can survive and uh, if we carry on the view around is really nice you have pack of free brahmins just a little bit north from your camp so if you need a brahmin milk for free you can keep visiting those brahmins and get the milk there is a lot of firecracker berry everywhere in the forest around you so this is a really good spot for a herbivore or someone who crafts a lot of berry mentats a lot of wood as well available some ore around too so you have this spot access to water access to some plants acid extractor access to free brahminus for the brahmin milk what else do you need? I think that's amazing spot in Savage Divide. Number one, in my opinion. Next, next we have Toxic Valley. Just in here with a double extractor. As you can see here, I'm standing about in the spot when you will place the camp unit. On the right, you can place a junk extractor. On the left, you can place a lead extractor. As well, it is amazing spot for carnivore. So carnivore do not really suffer from lack of fresh water. Fortunately, there is only toxic water around. But in here, where this dead rat stack is, you have a chance to get squirrels. And squirrels are quite rare, so they have a chance to spawn in here. Or rat stacks or other animals that can be used by the carnivores, a lot of wood to be harvested around and as well as some resources in the mountains nearby, not far away from the crater, relatively peaceful place, some old structures nearby, nothing in particular to say about them, just a perfect spot if you are a carnivore and double extractor is a bonus, lead and junk. I really like junk extractor because it's combination of a lot of different scrap that is being extracted in there. So this is amazing spot for the carnivore and the view is quite good. As you can see the entire valley, if you build a little bit higher, including the crashed space station, you are just under the mountains 
and most of the trees that you can see here on the place when you will build a camp can be removed by your items so there is nothing really in the way to build whatever you want to build now the next location this location is in ash heap and it's amazing for herbivores it is a nice relatively flat space with access to aluminum deposit as you can see around a lot of blight growing up so no problem with cooking your crit damage bonuses if you are a herbivore a lot of wood sources as well as access to water in the walking distance from the camp location and around the water as well ash roses which are relatively rare plants so it's good to have them nearby to your camp i think there is five or more ash roses over there so it's high concentration a little bit of a random encampment away from your camp should be far enough so those creatures will not get attracted relatively as well peaceful location like all of them i try to avoid too many enemies good area nice clean for building nothing really getting in your way access to extractor yeah i think that's it your camp will be visible from afar away as there is nothing really obstructing this location so everyone can see it and lastly we are going to the forest and this is the last location inside the forest and this is a little bit different because we have plenty of pre-existing structures with some nuka cola advertisement which i count as plus the downside is you cannot really redo it so you need to incorporate your camp into this location this stuff that you can see here cannot be removed but as well it's a double extractor you have a junk pile and you do have a wood pile so you can be extracting junk and wood then additional bonuses all around a lot of plants including the rare ones i will show you in a second how it looks all around because i want to give this camp a little bit closer look as it cannot be redone but there is a huge plus there is a huge container just in the middle with unlimited weight and i will be building my camp here too what i want to do about this container in the middle that cannot be removed i want to change it into a donation box and let me explain wherever the container says maximum of zero it is unlimited container and no you cannot use it as your personal stash even though you can put as much stuff as you want into it it is tied to the server if server dies this stuff will get lost if you change the server your stuff will be left on the on this server container is tied to the server but this is a plus for me if i want to change this container into a donation box box and it's inside my camp i can put lights on it i can put a custom message that will say take what you need leave what you don't need and let's see how this will work i want to make this donation box and it's it is really close to vault 76 so maybe some new players will come by it is a nice location to build around as and as i said some rare plants around uh, not all of them currently available for harvest oh there it is fire cap fire caps are rare and those are available for harvest starlight creepers are rare too so having those camps suit flowers as well as some cam box some mud fruit and so on having those plants around is definitely a plus as i don't need to gather far away and wherever i will be at my camp i can take them especially good for herbivores i'm currently a carnivore so that's not a huge plus for me uh, there is one snap day so you have some a little bit of sugar that you can produce a little bit of ore on those mountains so that's a plus the location looks real nice and if you have a lot of camp items that will fit the team you can build amazing camp in here the downside cannot be remodeled all this junk that is in here need to stay so that's a downside but as well a plus because it doesn't cost your camp budget those items that are already in here will not take your camp budget so I don't know how my creativity will allow me to build the most important for me is this 
big eye storage and it's white so it will be visible plus i will add some lights and signs and my vendor bots around we'll see i have really huge hope for this location one of my favorite all of them are my favorites so obviously this one too so this is the last one the forest location and that will conclude my list of top camp locations one for, for each region so there you go if you have better locations please don't hesitate to share in the comment section and that being said thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one